We'll begin today's sequence in a child's pose. Allowing the knees to come out wide to the edges of the mat. We'll shift the hips back towards the heels. And then crawling the palms forward, allow the heart and the head to melt down towards the mat. Taking a moment for any micro movements or adjustments that you may need to find full comfort and relaxation in your child's pose. That might mean a little bit of wiggling of the hips, dipping of the shoulders, maybe rocking the forehead side to side a few times. Eventually coming into some stillness in this shape. As you first arrive in stillness, take a moment to just observe the state of the body and the mind. What is it that you're bringing on to the mat? Are there any sensations, any tightness? soreness, anything in the body that the body wants you to hear in this moment. Quieting the mind. Quieting the thoughts. Mm, letting them be present, but just allowing them to pass by on their own knowing that you don't need them throughout this practice. This is time for you to settle in, strengthen your mind-body awareness. Now shifting our awareness towards the breath, just noticing the natural rhythm of the breath. When you shifted your awareness towards the breathing, did the breathing change? Did it stay the same? Just listen. Do you have a tendency to breathe out of the mouth or through the nostrils? Perhaps you're breathing more clearly out of one nostril than the other. Is the air warm? Is the air cool? Where do you feel the breath landing in the body when you inhale? And are you able to follow the air all the way back out the way that it came in as you exhale? Taking in all of these qualities, all of these observances of the breath, And then as it feels comfortable to you in your body right now, maybe you invite a little bit more expansion into your pattern of breathing. Sustaining these, uh, the inhales and exhales just a little bit further, just a little bit longer. Maybe you'd like to practice a slight constriction of the back of the throat to activate your ujjayi breath. This breath almost matches the sensation of sipping an air through a straw. You might listen to the sound of the breath sweeping the back of the throat like ocean waves. And remembering that this is a breath-centric practice. So maybe you stay with the breath, allowing it to move you in and out of the poses. Let's bring a little bit more energy into our child's pose here. Pressing the palms into the mat, we'll shift the hips a little bit further back towards the heels. Maybe those elbows and forearms even lift off of the ground. Maybe you give the forehead another little rock from side to side to massage the third eye. Find a little bit of movement in your neck here as well. Using your next inhale, we'll pull ourselves up into a tabletop pose. Find the wrist stack underneath the shoulders, knees stack underneath the hips. Palms are about shoulder width apart here, knees are about hips width. Maybe you just give yourself a little rock from side to side, wiggling the tail. Maybe you shift the hips forwards and backwards a few times. Just explore a little bit of movement on your own. Maybe you close the eyes and just let the movement be intuitive as you flow. Maybe you've moved a lot today. Maybe this is the first time that you're really moving. Either way is okay. 
but just experiment with a little bit of movement as you continue to notice what's going on in there. How do you feel right now in this moment? So coming back through to center into our tabletop pose, we'll move through a few rounds of cat and cow. Inhale to drop the belly and lift the gaze. Exhale, tuck the chin in towards the chest, round the spine. Inhale to drop the belly and lift the gaze. Exhale, tuck the chin in towards the chest, round the spine. One more time, inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, tuck the chin in towards the chest, round the spine, tuck the toes under, hover the knees off of the mat for three, two, and one. Soften the knees down. Nice. Finding a neutral spine here, tabletop pose. Our next inhale, we'll extend the right leg out behind us. Take a moment here to press through that right heel so that the foot is flexed. You might like to soften those toes down to the mat and just shift the weight forwards and backwards a few times to work into the back of that right leg, lengthening the calf muscle, maybe a little bit into the hamstrings as well. So extending that right leg out behind us, we'll press through the right heel. And now pointing the toes, we're gonna bend the knee and arch the back so the toes reach towards the crown of the head. Inhale, exhale, knee into nose, round the spine. Inhale to extend, point the toes towards the crown of the head. Exhale, knee into nose. One more time like that, inhale, point the toes. Exhale to curl round the knee and towards your nose. We're gonna cross that right leg over the left leg. So now the feet are wrapped here. Let's start by walking both hands over to the left side for a little twist. <sighs> let the head be heavy. Notice if you're holding tension in the neck. See if you can let it go, release. The hands will walk back through center, this time over to the right side. Nice, the hands will walk back through center. Take a moment to start to shift some more weight and awareness into the knees. Rising up so that we're standing on the knees, arms sweep up and overhead, reach through the fingertips, find extension in your spine. Exhale, we're gonna sweep that right arm underneath the left, connecting the backs of the palms, or maybe you just reach for opposite elbows here as we begin, finding an eagle variation. If you have the backs of the palms connected, maybe you reach those fingertips up a little bit higher and gaze up towards the fingers. Maybe you arch the back a little bit and invite a little bit of a back bend in here. Inhale. Exhale to unravel the arms. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the palms back down onto the mat. Nice. Let's hug that right knee back in towards the chest. Extend the right leg out behind us. Again, flexing the foot press through the heel. The toes will lower down onto the mat. We're going to take this into Vashi Stasana side plank. So you might like to keep that left knee on the earth for some support and pivot that left shin, right arm reaches up high. Maybe you take this into a full side plank pose, Vashistasana, by stacking the feet. Keep the hips lifted, stay strong in the arms. Notice that that left shoulder is stacked over the left wrist. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. Slowly with control, we'll all start to hug that right knee in towards the chest. Right foot steps down to the top of the mat. Inhale, rise up into a high crescent lunge. Imagine that you're squeezing an invisible block between the palms. Those pinky fingers are wrapping in towards one another as the shoulder blades draw down the spine away from the ears. Maybe there's a little bit of movement here as we're just starting to work into the front of that left hip a little bit more. Inhale, exhale to bend the elbows, cactus the arms, pull the heart through. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, bend the elbows, cactus the arms. Nice, one more time, inhale, arms reach up. This time as we exhale, we'll bend that left knee, tap it down onto the mat, untuck the toes. Bringing the uh, palms to the earth on either side of that right foot or maybe onto blocks. We'll shift the weight back towards the uh, left heel and straighten the right leg. Flex the foot, pull the toes back towards the face. Again, shifting the weight forward, finding that low lunge. And then shifting the hips back towards the heel, flex the right foot. Two more times like that, inhale, ripples the spine forward, low lunge. Exhale, shift the hips back towards the left heel. Nice. Let's stay here in Ardha Hanumanasana, half split pose. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward, forehead rounds in towards the shin. 
And as we're here, you might like to shift that right heel a little bit further forward to just find a little bit more space and opening in the back of the right leg, but do remain mindful of that right foot and that those right toes continue to pull back. There might be a little bit of movement here. You might like to take a little twist over to the right side, crawling both hands over to the right side of the leg. So walking the hands back through center, we're going to crawl the palms over to the left side this time. Pivoting the left shin, we'll stamp the sole of the right foot down onto the mat. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, side bend up and over to the right side. Left arm reaches up and over gate pose. Stay heavy through the left knee, right hand slides down the leg. Again, maybe imagining that you're holding that imaginary block in the left hand. So the left pinky finger is wrapping down. Where's the gaze? Maybe you shift the gaze down towards the right foot. Maybe you shift the gaze up towards the left palm. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Find a tabletop pose with the right leg extended. We'll take this into a twist here. Inhale, right arm reaches up high, gaze follows the thumb. Uh, let's take a moment to find some movement with the right arm, the right shoulder. Maybe you roll out the wrist, spread and pop the fingers. Uh, find opening in the chest, broaden the collarbone. Nice. Uh, inhale. Exhale to twist. Right arm threads underneath the left. Maybe that right temple comes down onto your mat or maybe onto a blanket or a block, bringing the earth a little bit closer in towards you. Left fingertips will extend out in front. Or maybe you work into a half bind here by sweeping the left arm behind your back to connect with the top of the right hip crease. Nice. Let's slowly release, bring those left fingertips back beneath the left shoulder. Inhale, right arm reaches up high again, stretch the chest. Right hand comes down onto the mat. Let's walk both hands over to the left side this time. So now we're facing the back of the mat. And then again, those right toes are still on the earth here. A little bit of shifting forwards and backwards. Nice. The right knee will come down onto the mat. Again, find your tabletop pose, just as we did in the beginning. Ensure that those wrists are stacked under shoulders, knees stacked under hips, spreading through all 10 fingers here. Those pointer fingers might be pointing straight forward towards the top of your mat. Find length in your spine. Draw in from the low belly as you press the earth away. Nice. Our next inhale is going to extend that left leg out behind us, this time pressing through our left heel. Nice. The foot is flexed. Maybe there's a little bit of movement with the ankle. Maybe those toes find the mat behind you as you shift a little bit of weight forwards and backwards. Nice. Lifting the left leg, press through the heel. Now we'll point the toes, bend the knee, arch the back, toes point towards the crown of the head. Inhale. Exhale, round the knee in towards your nose. Inhale to extend. Exhale to round. One more time. Inhale to extend. Exhale, round the knee in towards your nose. Let's cross that left knee over the right. Ah, nice. Crawling both hands over to the left side. Find a twist. Walking both hands back through center, crawl them over to the right side. Nice. Let's walk the hands back through center. Again, shifting the weight into the legs. Take a moment to stabilize. The palms will come to me in front of the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. This time as we exhale, that left arm sweeps underneath the right, either reaching for opposite shoulders. Maybe you connect the backs of the palms or maybe you connect the fingertips with the palms. And as you do, we'll reach up through the fingers, hold here, stabilize, feel the rib cage drawing in towards your center. Engage the core, nice, for three, two, and one, unravel the arms, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, bring the palms back down onto the mat. Hug the left knee in towards the chest, we'll extend that left leg out behind us, again, pressing through the heel, flex the foot. Taking this into Vashistasana, side plank, your choice if you'd like to go supported with the right knee lowered, or maybe you stack the feet, the left arm peels up high. Nice, keeping the hips lifted. Let's hold here for five, four, three, maintain a little micro bend in the right elbow, two, and one left knee hugs in towards the chest. Left foot steps to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms reach up. Nice, crescent lunge here. 
Notice that the feet are about hips width apart, so we have a little bit of space between the feet rather than walking on a tightrope. This will give us a little bit more stability here. Again, there might be a little bit of movement as we first come into this shape, but do ensure that the right knee is stacked over the right ankle and that it's not tracking too far past. Nice inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, bend the elbows, cactus the arms, pull the heart through. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale to cactus. Nice, one more time, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, cactus the arms, right knee lowers down. Release the hands down to frame that left foot. Same thing here, we'll start by straightening the left leg. Pull the toes back towards the face. Nice, inhale shifts us forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, shift the hips back towards the right heel, straighten the left leg. Two more times, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, half split. Nice, last time, inhale, shift forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, shift back. Ardha Hanumanasana, half split pose. Inhale, let's lengthen our spine here all the way up through the crown of the head. Exhale, hinge the hips, fold forward, forehead rounds in towards the shin. Option to stay here, maybe adding on that twist. Hands crawl over to the left side of the left leg. Keep that left foot flexed. The toes are still pulling back, even if it means maintaining a little bend in the left knee. Nice. Hands crawl back through center, this time over to the right side. Again, we're shifting that right shin. Sole of the left foot steps down onto the mat. Inhale, arms sweep up and overhead. Exhale, side bend over to the left side. Left hand slides down the leg, right arm reaches up and over. Feel that right shoulder pulling back into the socket as you gaze up towards the pinky. Again, that right pinky finger is wrapping down almost like you're holding that block in your hand. <sighs> nice, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward, find your extended tabletop pose. Inhale, reach the left arm up, spread the chest. Find some big sweeping circles, movement with the left arm, bend the elbow, roll out the wrist. Ah, where's the gaze? Maybe that gaze follows the thumb as you move here. Mm, beautiful. Inhale, reach up through the fingertips. Exhale, thread the left arm underneath the right. Same options here. Maybe you tent those right fingertips out in front of you. Maybe the right hand sweeps behind your back to connect with the left hip crease. Uh, rest the left temple on the mat, on the earth. Nice. Unraveling that right arm. Palm comes beneath the shoulder. Inhale, left arm reaches up high. Exhale, left hand comes down onto the mat. Let's walk both hands over to the top of your mat. And then bringing that left knee to meet the right in your tabletop pose. Take about five to seven breaths for any movement of your choice. It doesn't have to look like any specific shape or any specific movement. Maybe it's just an intuitive flow that happens here. What is the body craving right now? There's likely something that the body is wanting. Give yourself that opportunity for this movement. So let's take three more breaths on your own. Let the breath move you. Let the sound of the breath be what initiates the movement. Let's go ahead and tuck all 10 toes under. Make sure that you're really spreading through all 10 fingers. Maybe you can even create an L shape with the pointer finger and the thumb here. Hovering the knees off of the mat, let's hold here, press the earth away, feel space between the shoulder blades like you're pressing the back of the heart up into the ceiling for three, two, and one. Shift the hips back towards the heels, straighten the legs, find your first downward facing dog of practice. So from downward facing dog, feet will be about hips width apart here. Maybe you are able to kind of lift those toes and find a little bend in the knee. Uh, palms are going to be about shoulder width apart here. Again, spreading through all 10 fingers. See if you can wrap the inner elbows forward towards the top of your mat. We'll continue to lift from the sitting bones as we press the torso back towards the thighs. Traditional drishti. Drishti is our point of gaze. In this pose, our drishti is our belly button, but that can be really, really intense on the neck. So just practicing a soft gaze somewhere between the inner thighs will do just fine. Nice. Take a few breaths here to move. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. Inhale. And exhale. 
Using our next inhale, we'll roll ourselves forward into high plank pose. Keep pressing the mat away. Nice. For a little bit of added challenge here, maybe you lift those right toes. The right leg will extend out behind you. Maybe there's a little bit of pulsing that happens here. So we're going to take this back into Vashisthasana, side plank. So either keeping those toes elevated off of the mat or you just roll the top of that right foot on top of the left foot. Right arm peels up high, Vashisthasana. Maybe you keep that left foot floating. Hold here, inhale. <sighs> Exhale. Right knee hugs in towards the chest. Let's step that right foot to the top of the mat. This time we're going to pivot ourselves open into warrior two. Nice long stance here. Heel to arch alignment through the feet. Let's all just go ahead and gaze down towards our feet and make sure that it looks like something around heel to arch alignment and that we have a nice long stance here so that we're able to find that nice generous bend in our right knee. Nice. We want some external rotation happening in this front leg. So almost like you're hugging your front knee towards the brick wall that's behind you. We're still pressing through the outer edge of the back foot, so the energy is actually being pushed in two different directions here. Shoulders stack over hips, soft gaze over the right middle finger. Allow the shoulder blades to slide down the spine away from the ears. Nice. Take a big breath here, inhale. Exhale, right arm reaches forward. Keep the lower body exactly as it is. We'll pivot the arms, rest the left forearm on, uh, right forearm on top of the right leg. Left arm peels up towards the ceiling. Maybe the gaze is towards that thumb. Maybe you find your extended side angle by reaching the left fingertips forward towards the wall that's in front of you. And then again, drawing that shoulder, the left shoulder back into the socket. Space between the shoulder and the ear. Nice. Keep the bend in the legs. Keep pressing through the outer edge of the back foot. Maybe you lift all five toes on the right foot. Feel the arch of the right foot lifting. Nice. Gazing down towards the right foot. We'll inhale to rise back up. Reverse your warrior. Right palm flips open towards the ceiling. Left hand slides down the back of the leg. Or maybe you take a half bind, reaching the back of the palm for either the sacrum or maybe it connects with the top of your right hip crease. Ah, nice. Let's straighten that right leg as we come back through center. Toe heel the back foot in a little bit closer here, setting it for triangle pose. Bumping the hips back towards the wall behind you, right arm reaches forward. Maintain the length in the right side of the body as you pivot the arms. Triangle, maybe that right palm is floated. Maybe you have that right palm on a block. Maybe you interlace the pointer finger and the thumb around the big toe. Again, the shoulders stack, gaze up towards your left thumb here. Hmm. To add on a little bit more strengthening, you might like to extend the left arm forward towards the wall that's in front of you. And then once you feel stable through the legs, maybe that right arm reaches forward as well. Almost like you're holding a beach ball or a gift that you're looking to give to your beloved. <laughs> Inhale, the arms reach up, reverse that triangle. Bring the arms back through center. Let's pivot all 10 toes to face towards the side of our mat here. Beautiful, palms come onto our waist. Inhale, lengthen the sternum up towards the ceiling as the tailbone reaches down towards the floor. Inhale, exhale, hinge at the hips, fold yourself forward, palms come beneath the shoulders. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Prasarita Padottanasana, wide-legged forward fold. Nice. We want to check in with the weight distribution in our feet here. Notice if you're holding a lot of your weight backwards in the heel. See if you can push a little bit more weight forward into the balls of the feet. So the weight is distributed a little bit more equally here. If you find that your head is really, really close to the earth, you might want to toe heel those feet in just a little bit closer together. And adversely, if your head is really, really far from the earth, you might want to toe heel those feet out a little bit wider. And as you come into this pose, just notice where you're feeling it really intensely. Is it in the inner thighs, maybe around the ankles? The legs should be pretty fired up here. Nice. Let's use our next inhale to crawl the palms forward, hands beneath the shoulders. Palms come onto the waist. Inhale, rise all the way back up into a stand. Nice. We're all just going to pivot those left toes. So this time the left toes are facing towards the back of the mat. Arms come out wide into a T. We'll bend into our left knee, gazing over the left middle finger here. Beautiful. Hmm. Warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, left arm reaches forward. Again, pivoting the arm, stacking that left forearm on top of the left thigh. Right arm reaches up high. Nice, maybe taking this into extended side angle, right arm reaches forward towards the uh, back of the room. 
and then drawing the right shoulder back into the socket. Notice the placement of the head. We want the head to be completing this extended line of energy here rather than letting that left ear drop to left shoulder. Keep integrity in the neck. Gazing down towards the left foot, we'll inhale to rise back up. Reverse your warrior, right arm slides down the back of the leg. And then coming back through center, we'll straighten the right leg until we heel the right foot in a little bit closer towards the left. Nice bumping the hips back. Inhale, left arm reaches forward. Pivot the arms. Triangle pose your way. Do ensure that the shoulders are stacked over that left leg. Maybe you gaze down towards the front foot and lift all five toes. Maybe you lift all the back toes as well. Just feeling your connection to the earth through the feet. Nice. If you did so on the other side, maybe that right arm reaches forward. Maybe once you feel stable through the legs, we reach the left arm forward as well. Nice. Mm, pressing into the feet, we'll inhale to rise up, reverse that triangle. Ah, let's exhale to cartwheel the hands, frame the left foot. Send the left foot back, find your, side, uh, find your plank pose. Press the earth away, space between the shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale. And rolling to the outer edge of the right foot. Left arm reaches up high, Vashi Stasana. Nice. For three, two, and one. Left hand comes down, lower the knees onto the mat. Shift the hips back towards the heels. Find your child's pose. Knees can be wide or knees can be together here. Take a few breaths with the eyes closed to just notice how you're feeling. How is the body? Where are the energetics? Has the mind wandered? And if it has, are you able to draw it back into the space? Feel the rhythm of the breath. Feel the rhythm of the heartbeat. From our child's pose, we'll all just walk those fingertips back. So we rise to seated on the knees and then rotating the legs around to the top of the mat here. We'll bend the knees out wide and bring the soles of the feet to touch. For Baddha Konasana, bound angle pose, we'll inhale, lift and lengthen the sternum. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Try to maintain the length and integrity in the spine as much as possible until eventually you round the forehead in towards your toes. Again, feel this pose. Where are you feeling this the most intensely through your body? And see if rather than running from the sensation, are you able to greet the sensation and just feel it? Lean into the sensation. Practice a little bit of patience here. Slow the mind. What does the mind have a tendency to do in these places that feel a little bit uncomfortable? Seize our next inhale to rise all the way back up. Keeping the knees bent out wide, let's walk the fingertips back to find Supta Baddha Konasana, our reclined bound angle pose. Uh, if you have blocks or blankets at home, you might like to place them underneath the knees for a little bit of extra support here. Let's reach up and overhead for opposite elbows. Uh, the hips and the heart are open. Soften a little bit further into this shape. Where is it that you're holding on to tension? In the hips, the shoulder, the arm. Just listen to the breath. Feel the belly and the trunk of the body expanding as you inhale. Drawing back together as you exhale. Follow the breath. Inhale. And exhale. A few more breaths here. Inhale. 
Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Let's release opposite elbows. Use the hands to very slowly draw the knees back in together. And then hugging the knees in towards the chest. Giving yourself a little hug here, maybe gently cupping the knees with the palms. And taking some circles with the legs to massage the low back, the sacrum. And then bending the knees out wide, reaching for the outer edges of the feet, we'll find a happy baby pose, just rocking side to side. Maybe play with straightening one leg, bending the other. Great. And then give yourself a moment for any last poses, any movement, any shape that calls to your attention. It can be anything at all. When you feel complete, allow the legs to fall down the length of your mat. Palms flip open towards the ceiling. Close the eyes. Follow the rhythm of the breath. Find some peace and sanctity in this moment. Let the body be still. Let the mind be still. Shavasana.